Hello, everybody, and welcome to Lyle's Friday Podcast. Another beautiful day here at CNS Corvettes. Uh, I want to talk to you about something that I've been getting several phone calls about this week. And here's the deal. I have had a rash of phone calls from people who are buying C4s, especially 84 to 89s, and they're buying them out of their friends' garages, and they're buying them super cheap. And unfortunately, they're calling me for parts, and when they hear what some of these parts or services cost, they really, really get upset because they bought the car for less than the service that they're needing is going to cost them. So I want to do a little talk with you today. I'm not going to make this long. I'm going to keep it brief. There are five things you need to look at if you're going to go buy a C4 Corvette. That's 84 to 96 Corvette. Bear with me here, okay? Number one, if you are buying a C4 Corvette, both the early cars with the three lens LCD display and the later cars that are curved and have the one LCD display, odds are unless they've been done in the last couple of years, they're going to need to be done so that you can read your gauges. Uh, the 84 to 89 clusters, if you need lenses because yours are burned, you're going to spend $800 to $1,000, period, end of story. I know there are people on the internet who are going to tell you, hey, I can rebuild that for $200. Yes, but what the problem is, is the fine print tells you that that is only the labor for the electronic bit of it. And if you need lenses, it's extra. And the lenses are almost $200 a piece. Ergo, $800 to $1,000. So be aware of that, okay? If you, ha if you get into this car that you're looking at buying and that stuff isn't working, you know that's going to be an expensive venture. Number two especially if that car has been sitting for an extended period of time, you got to worry about your fuel system. Remember, these cars were never made to handle fuel with eth ethanol in it. It didn't exist when these cars were designed. So what happens is that fuel, as it sits in that fuel tank or that fuel pressure regulator or in the bottoms of your fuel injectors or in your fuel rail, as it sits and sits and sits and sits, it gets what we call alcohol poisoning which it starts making these globules, the ethanol does, like tapioca pudding, and it gums up your entire fuel system. So if you know that a car has been sitting for six months, eight months, a year, and you're gonna go buy it, no matter how nice that car is, in your mind, plan on replacing fuel pump, fuel pressure regulator, blowing out all the lines, new fuel filter, cleaning out the rails and doing new fuel injectors. That can easily get to $1,000 to $1,500 to $1,800 that fast if you're not careful. So, cars been sitting, think fuel system. Number three, especially on the 84 to 89 cars, but it does apply to all the C4s. These cars are old enough now that all the black plastic on the interior of these cars is getting to be super brittle. That's not a failing on the car's part or on GM's part. The failure is just in time and age. Black ABS plastic, as it ages, gets super brittle. So, as long as you don't have to touch anything in the car, it might be okay. The moment you have to disassemble anything to get into the dash or wherever to work on something, things start falling apart in your hands. A lot of this stuff is not reproduced. So, just be forewarned that everything in that car, you're gonna have to be very careful when you touch it because if you break it, it may be expensive to fix or even difficult to find. Final point, when you're looking at the, uh, not the final point, two more points. Um, on the 92 to 96 cars, with the LT1 engines, pay particular attention to the OptiSpark distributor. Uh, in their genius, they managed to put a laser-driven optical distributor that can only be killed by water directly under the water pump at the front of the engine. If you're a Corvette person, you know this, it's, it's nothing new. If you're not a Corvette person and you're new to Corvette and you're looking at one of these cars, if that distributor has gotten wet in the past, or if in preparation to sell the car, the owner pressure washed the engine compartment to make it all party, he's odds are probably killed that OptiSpark. So you're gonna need an OptiSpark. You never do an OptiSpark without replacing the water pump because water pump leaks are what normally kill the OptiSpark. There's $1,800 right now in parts and labor if it needs to be done, pay attention. Last thing, any of the C4s, Make sure you look at the weather strip, especially if the interior is still nice in that car. You want to make sure that if the weather strip is dried or cracked or missing, um, especially at the 90 degree corner on the back of a coupe window, uh, they tend to leak back in there. 
uh, and the A pillars, the ones that go up and across the windshield at the front, those corners tend to get crispy and hard. If the interior is nice and this is a car you're buying at short money and it's going to live outdoors because your nicer cars are living indoors, you better make sure you got good weather strip on it because it's not going to take a whole lot of rain leaks into that car to destroy a nice 20 plus year old interior. There's nothing wrong with C4s guys, they had a lot of great points to them. You just have to educate yourself and be careful so that that thousand dollar bargain doesn't become a five thousand dollar hole that you can't crawl out of. If you have questions, give me a call 800-886-5064. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.